fun of the day, which is going to be how five test running Metal Gear MSX in the any percent category. That's not quite what was listed on the uh, on the schedule, but uh, I'm sure that how five test will explain everything. Whenever you're ready to get started how five test, please do just give me a countdown so I uh, know to start the timer. I'd love to give you a countdown. So, quickly again, Medical Soul Mobile was originally planned, but I was doing that on an emulator that's fairly new, and sadly, right now, of course, because of this event, it just didn't want to work anymore. So, we have a backup that is Metal Gear from 1987, the original, and we're going to play the Any Percent Run. So, I hope you still enjoy it. My name's Houses here for the Mega Speedrunners, and let's start in 3, 2, 1, action. Alright, so, as I said, this is Metal Gear, this is the very first entry in the series. We're going to play the version that came with the PlayStation 2 release of Metal Gear Solid 3. This means we have a little bit of an advantage over, for example, using health potions and everything. And also we can skip all these nice dialogues. First of though, I'm gonna make my way up here and gonna grab myself some access cards that we need right away. So here's level 1. Just gonna be grab the tea, ignore the alert, and now we're gonna get packed because Snake's hungry. Even before Snake Eater, he was a hungry man, and we're gonna get six rations here that we need right away at the start. This is also why we play on the easy difficulty. We could, in theory, do this also on original, but the difference here is that on easy we can at least grab six of these rations versus three on original. And because we're doing 80%, we're trying to do it, of course, as fast as possible. Alright, I got my six rations, and now we're off. And we're already going in the building one. This is the biggest part of the entire Outer Heaven station here. And we're going up to the second floor. Important to know that every time that we enter an elevator like this one here, we have absolutely uh, good luck because this is always a little checkpoint for us where we can fall back. But the problem also is that now for the second floor, we have no going back. This is the only chance that we can really get. And this takes a long time to get through, so wish me luck everyone that I'm not doing any mistakes. First off, just going through here, we're ignoring the deadly gas, and just gonna equip a ration here, let it automatically pop, and we're out again. That saves us grabbing actually gas mass, it's a little bit further out of our way, and we can just move on, save the first of many hostages. Actually, it's the second one right now. Every five hostages, we're gonna uh, gain one more rank, and for the boss fight, at the end, we need rank four. So, for any percent, we routed in, of course, grabbing 15 of these hostages throughout the entire run, and hopefully at the end, we have the right requirements met. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna make my way past here, this death barrel. It's a QD, we're gonna ignore it for a moment, and as you can see, we're constantly in this alert state, and just having our plan ration used right here. Moving up, we're gonna grab the second card of this game. And the original Metal Gear is a little bit annoying as it is. Uh, you always have to switch to the card that you actually want to use for the door. It's not like in later iterations where if you get a card, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to have it equipped. But even Metal Gear Solid, you uh, at least only had like one set of cards that you needed. Here in the original MSX version, we have to always get the right key for the right door. So it's all up in my head up here that I can remember everything. Alright, almost done with that floor. Now only comes a little bit of a tricky part. There we go, card two. Just going near uh, to the first sort of boss fight, they're called the Four Horsemen. But the thing is, with bosses in this game, really, uh, we're just mostly not interacting with any of these. Because all of these bosses are kind of boring. And also just allow us to bypass them. So, I mean, why would I waste any time fighting these guys? I don't see the point. And neither did the developers of this game, because. Almost all of that are optional. Hey, right, here we go. That's the last hostage of this floor, and now we're just making our way out. I'm glad. Uh, it's not looking too good for my health. Um, health management is a big part of this speedrun up until a certain point. So the six rations that we use are going to take us about 6% of the game. With, um, again, every five hostages, uh, we get an upgrade of the rank and also a health refill. So, let's get down here two of these floors and make our way through. And now I'm just going to cautiously equip a ration just in case I take too much damage. It could be that we're doing fine. This looks great. Awesome. So we just saved another ration here and that is quite good RNG for me. Um, on average you have to use almost all of these rations, like five. In the worst case you have to actually use six. And then we'll mess up a bit of our menu spot. As it's going right now, it's actually looking quite good. So. I'm happy how we do 
doing so far. Right, here comes another staple of the series that's right, right here in the very first game, and that is getting captured. Just like in Medic Solid 1, 2, 3, we're always getting captured here, and there's no exception for the very first game of that series. So we're just gonna walk left here, punch the wall, and hey, there we go. Great Fox, finally found him here. And we're gonna just leave him here, punch another wall, and meet the shot maker. And as I explained earlier, he's one of these bosses once again. I'm just gonna ignore. I'm gonna punch this door here, grab our stuff. Notice like, hang on a second, there's a transmitter. Let's get rid of that. And move over here to the next door. You still keep ignoring this guy. He does not matter at all. What matters though is that we're gonna grab now five of these ammo boxes so we have enough explosives for the next part of this speed run. So let's go here three. Four. And one last time. There we go. Oh, there we go. Card three explosives. Just getting through here. Taking a very precise path so we're not getting damaged too often. Only getting shot once is excellent. And there we go. That's the shot maker. As I said, we're going to completely ignore him. Going now through the maze. This is the part where most of the casual people that play this game were ever frustrated, quit the game, or tried to at least call Hawk Knight back in the day. Uh, we know perfectly well where we can place these explosives so we can get through the wall. We need two items in this area here. One of them is the blast suit. That's the first one that we're going to right now. And then we make all the way back again to get the enemy uniform. And I gotta say, if I were ever to do this casually without knowing the speedrun before, I would also probably go mad because you have to punch all of these wards to try to find that one question mark where snakes like, huh? And then we can open it up with explosives. Fun fact, this is one of those rare games where I even said I'm not gonna play this casually at all. I know roughly the story bits, but I personally just learned the speedrun and went along. I played all the other games in this series. I speedrun most of the other games in this series, with just a few exceptions left. Uh, the, yeah, Metal Gear 1 was definitely one where I was like, ah, I'm just gonna learn the speedrun and be done with it. And I gotta say, it's great fun. So, if you have interest in learning this game or any other in this series, of course, go to the MetalGearSpeedrunners.com website. We have a great wiki as a knowledge base to teach you all the games. And of course, also a great Discord where you can join up. And we're gonna show you, for example, funny memes of Metal Gear Rising, or just how really, really valuable Medic Soul moment really is, if I get to show that to you one day, hopefully. Alright, that's our floor done. We're going back up again. We're almost done with this entire building. Just a few more sections left. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to go to meet Machine Gun Kid. But once again, he's one of these bosses that just don't matter. It's a little bit of a nihilistic game, I guess, but... <laughs> It is what it is. And you can say, we're just gonna skip all of them. It's not even that we need any um, highly specific tricks to get past them. But the game's just set up that way. Alright, going through here. And there we go, there's Machine Gun Kid. Say hey, hello everyone. Oh, he's, try he's trying real hard to stop me. But I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna grab the parachute. That's what we're actually gonna need next. Say hello again to Machine Gun Kid. And say goodbye everyone, that was Machine Gun Kid. As I said, the bosses in these games mostly don't matter at all. But what matters once again is having this one hostage. And now we're good to go. Making our way up all the way where we came from. There we go, equipping all the things we need. Now we actually need to use the blast suit. And we're gonna use finally the grenade launcher that we picked up way, way earlier. Go through the door here, another checkpoint set, and there we go. Off to the roof. And this is not a part where uh, we would actually go in casually find out, oh, we cannot move past this, because the wind is blowing us away again. And this is why specifically we already grabbed the blossom. Imagine going back and needing to go through the entire maze again. No thank you. Just going past these birches here. They look wobbly, and they indeed are. And if you don't have the parachute on, you're gonna die immediately, so... I think we just made the past and now we're finally getting to the point where we actually have a boss that we need to fight. Still, whoever went to the hind, I'm just gonna yoink a few grenades at him and we're good to go. And as always people, we're here also, not just at Insomnia Alley 68, we're also here to support the charity, so please everyone donate in order to support the special effect charity. And right, there we go, that's the first building almost done, just dropping down here. And I think I have an issue that I used one of too many others. Let's find out.
gonna use this version here, yeah, because we're gonna die else. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Go down to level 4. And I'm pretty sure I'm running into a big issue now that I need ammo. Let me quickly think where can I grab ammo. Set so captured. There's the pistol. There's a little load. And the next drop would actually teleport us back to somewhere else, so I think I have an idea where we can grab ammunition. It'll be fine, it'll be fine guys, just a small detour here. Alright, going back up. Wait, once more, there we go, there's some ammunition. Alright, now we have enough shots. It's a small thing if you're on the go, and of course, once again, in a marathon setting, you do these tiny mistakes, like, ah, of course, I, sh I shot one time, one time too many, and now I have to go out of my way to grab more ammunition. That's fine, just a small detour, we're back again on track. So what we're going to do is we now walk all the way to the right, and then we'll finally exit 31 after a small detour. No problem at all. Gonna walk past these guards. They look like statues, and I'm not even entirely sure if they are statues or not. Gonna go here through the desert and I'm gonna quickly grab one more ration just on the safe side here. You can only hear that there's an uh, enemy attacking us and once again I can confirm this enemy does not matter to us. I only have two, I'm gonna grab one more just to show you. There we go. Alright! So here's the tank. And that was the tank, thank you very much. Um, such a hard fight. I hope you could follow up with me. I was doing the input so fast, nobody could see them. And that was building one, so we're now going into building two. And now it gets more interesting where we actually uh, meet Dr. Matnar, the guy that built the metric of this game. It's called TX55. And it will hopefully tell us in which order we need to destroy the legs. So, moving over here. Oh my god, there's a bulldozer! And this is literally one of those boss fights you cannot mess up. In case you do, you have to just walk back. Thankfully we did first try, we didn't die yet so far, which makes me very happy. And now we're going to quickly grab an antenna because we can actually in this building not have any conversations with our commander. And that is important later for us because we need to call a specific frequency later in order to open the door. Just going to grab here, grab the antenna and there we go. Now we're getting a call again. All is fine in the world. For building 2 now we come to the part that's probably the most horrific. It's called <laughs> Terror Roof or Hell Roof. I like to think it is mostly fine, but there's some paths that you can take to make it even more risky. Also, standing now, the elevators are only going in one direction. This one only goes up, and there's one on the other side that only goes down. So hopefully we're not doing any more mistakes, and we should be good to go. Grab another hostage here. And now we're just running for our lives. This is one of those mandatory alerts that we just have to take, and all of these guards, they are after us. But, as I said, I've got the next ration, we should be fine, just in case it gets too low, but... So far, it's looking fine. Now we're getting introduced to the flying enemies. You cannot evade them, you can just hope for your luck. So far, it's looking good. And there we go, that's card number 5. I would definitely now use one of those rations. And there we go, off to card 5. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, they cannot fly, they also can run after you. Alright, now we can cool down. That was Hellroof. No problem, of course, as it is. We're gonna go now all the way down again, basically back to the beginning. And we're now gonna hopefully finally meet Dr. Batman. But on the way, of course, we get just one more hostage. We're almost done with them, thankfully. Now we're just gonna walk over here, get ready. Funny use our one last explosives because once again we're in a maze, but this time also there's deadly gas here that we need to make past. Thankfully, again, we have more than enough rations here to get us through without any issues. We're having just one more of these hostages. We're so close to the upgrade, I can feel it. And there we go. So here's Dr. Mana, but actually. What? A trap? Oh no, it's the wrong one! I guess we have to find another one. Meanwhile, we're just going to grab card number 6 here, make our way through, and finally leave the maze behind us. And there we go. His fire trooper is again one of those enemies who just doesn't matter. Poor bastard. 
It's ridiculous. If you want to learn the boss rush version, where you actually fight off these guards, we also teach that. It's a fun time, and very pretty also as well. Alright, just move now. One more roof here, we're good to go. You can actually punch guards in order to uh, discombobulate them and annoy them, but these guards actually not. These are the brats. They are very annoying, and we can only kill them really with the rocket launcher, which we also need a higher rank for. But that's fine. I'm just gonna go over here. One more hostage. One more to the right, and then bibbidi bobbidi boop. It's finally time here for us to go rank four. Da da da! Wonderful. Now it's just time here to call a friendly helper. Oh, that's one codec off. Oh, is it it? It's it. There we go. This is Jennifer. Now we have her in our codec call. And we need that exact codec so we can later call her again. Because what we're gonna do next is, is die. And uh, every time when we die, the codec actually resets to 120.00 which is actually further away from the 12048 that we need to call it. Now that we're in our previous, we can actually do what we want to do. And that is going and uh, abusing a very fun trick where we die five times in a level and the game's like, you know what? Here, I'm gonna give you a hand and we're gonna actually give you full ammo, full rations and everything. For that, I need to go once into this elevator door and we're gonna use exactly this death barrel now to make the magic work. I want to die, not go back in here. There we go. Once again, we're gonna do it five times over here. And we see we're rank four, that means we can also grab the maximum amount of ammunition. If we are on lower rank, we cannot grab as much, so each time we get a certain amount more of ammo that we can hold, which is key for us here in this run. Also cool is that we finally can ignore any of the damage that we take because we also gotta get like 30 rations. And there we go. One pass here. Cause a bit of a ruckus of getting the alert going so that guard that's sometimes asleep it <laughs> does not go asleep at all. Go over here to the left, kill the first brats, thank you very much. And then the second one, and then they're gonna drop an important card here for us. That's number seven. We're gonna use number two now. Walk over here and now we're finally also gonna call Jennifer in order for her to open a door for us. Behind num uh that door. There we go. Door number two. We're gonna find the compass that we need in order to cross the desert. Once again, it's one of those things if you were to play this casually and finding out all the things on your own. Uh, kudos to you. <laughs> I'm just glad I can just do the things in the fastest way possible. Alright, we're almost done. Just getting down here. And now we're getting slowly ready to leave building two behind. There we go. Just all the way back again to the elevator. Move in here and off we go. Now here's important, always we go down two levels or maximum, this time only once. Once again, this is a one-way elevator, if you go down too far, we have to go all the way back again and that really sucks. The good thing is that actually doesn't suck is how damage is being dealt in this game. So we're actually getting ticked down here if you are in the low water, as you can see. But the cool thing is, it actually isn't as much that we would actually need the scuba gear, which would be at the end of the game almost. We're just gonna heal up here to Maxwell, which is also why we need rank 4 before we go here. We just swim all the way. And thankfully, again, how, the way how uh, damage works in this game, we just get through here with like 1 HP left, and we're good to go. We don't need to grab the scuba gear. There we go. Alright. Moving over here. This is Kawatak. Shoot him twice, and he has three hostages surrounding him. It's like a terrorist having like kitten on his chest. You cannot shoot him. In the same manner, we cannot shoot these hostages, or else we would drop in rank right away, and we would not be able to finish the game. We would actually need to reset. Thankfully, though, nothing of that happens. You literally just need to stand still and shoot first chance, and that's how we do that. All right, that was now the final trip. We have everything that we need to move on. Card number eight, and now we're going straight towards the end. We're gonna heal up once here. Crypt card 7 as well, and there we go. That is building number 2 down. Only one more left. And this will be the uh, fastest at the end here. So we're getting close, like 2 minutes, only left in this round. And if I would be smart, I would also equip the compass now, because else we would always wrap it around the same level here. Also, yeah, we are not poisoned, but that doesn't matter actually. Because um, poison damage is so low, 
And we got, again, infinite rations. We're just gonna heal up if we need it. We're good to go. Let's quickly blow up this wall here, because to the left there's a trap, actually. Gonna heal left. Don't fall into these traps. And just go down the last elevator, finally. Alright, we're gonna heal up here. Go to door 8. And now, we did. We never found Dr. Madna. So the real Dr. Madna that would actually tell us the order of the legs. And that's fine. I mean, it's not a complex sequence. The order of the, that you need to explore the legs are just right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, 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 right. It's fine. You can just remember that. It's not that complex. I guess I know what I did. <laughs> it's really that combination that you need to do. <laughs> so we're literally just straight up walking out to Big Boss. We're like, hey, come on. What's up here? What, what is the true machine? Before that, there's a few more funky rooms. Enough of more that we need to look for and punch. Gonna peel up here quickly and go to car number one. Don't fall into the trap, thankfully. That was close. And now, uh, the flashlight warning, uh, it's happening right now. Give me a second. Alright, you can watch again, and there we go, now the order of the legs, as I said, right, right, and left, then two times you go right, left, left, and then we do one more right, left, left, then we do once again right, right, left, and then just the final sequence, right, left, right, and right, there we go. And that has been the Metal Gear of this game, TX55. Now we're just moving on here to the final boss fight, which is Big Boss himself. It's like, oh, I sent you to die. What the hell? And we're just gonna blow him up quickly with a few rockets. And that's it. So now I'm going to the ladders. And that's the final sequence. Which ladder should we take? Well, of course, I know it's the most left one. And, um, yeah, that has been Metal Gear. Uh, the original release MSX, played on the PS2 version that came with Metal Gear 3. My name is House Liz, here from the Metal Gear Speed Runners. Stay tuned for more Metal Gear action with Metal Gear Solid 2 and Armored coming up right now. And this is... Time! Thank you. Alright, that was quite good. I hope I did a good time. And um, yeah, stay tuned again. Once again, we have Metal Gear Solid 2 coming up and I'm the right way. So, have fun. And thanks for having me here at UKSM. We do indeed have some more incredible Metal Gear action coming up for you very, very soon. The next on the docket is Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance in the Any% percent Very Easy category, which is set to go live at 11.05. So, we'll be back with you very shortly for that.